Come on, whose turn is it? Time to relax this winter with Dreams Beds and Challenge. Question number five would guarantee you £1,000. Here it comes. Which boy's name can also be a verb meaning to persistently attack? Horace. Henry. Harry. Humphrey. Harry. Harry. Not Humphrey. No, nope. So mm -hmm. right answer, you've got £1,000. So now you're happy. Very happy. Well played. I'm glad you came now. Better? Much better. It's a huge grin on your face. You're much better. OK, uh, you've got a thousand pounds. You're ten away from a million. You have all three lifelines intact. Question number six is for two thousand. How I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Dave is nodding knowledgeably, hopefully. It's part of the title of which famous comedy film? Part of the title of which famous comedy film? Some like it hot. Doctor Strange Love. There's something about Mary with nail and eye. Doctor it's Doctor Strange Love, yeah. Final answer? Final Definitely answer. Five, no. Final answer, yes. You're very confident? Yeah, absolutely right. You've got £2,000. <laughs> OK, question number seven is for 4000 You still haven't touched any lifelines. You've got 50 50. Phone a friend and ask this audience. Question number seven is for 4000 Here it is. Which of these was an 18th century born English dandy and friend to the Prince Regent? You're doing your nodding again, David, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> what do you expect to come up on the screen? What do you Bo hoping? Brummel. Bo Brummel. Okay, see what happens. Bo James. Bo Bridges. Bo Jest. Yes. Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Final answer. Final Indeed. answer. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> for bone idle. You got £4,000. <laughs> Question number eight is for 8000 You still have all three lifelines. Have a look. In which county is the town of Royal Leamington Spa? Warwickshire. Warwickshire. Lincolnshire. Hertfordshire. Gloucestershire. That'll be Warwickshire. Yes. That'll be because you come from Telford then? Uh, I drive through Leamington Spa occasionally, yes. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You got £8,000. <laughs> Question number nine is for 16,000. You could lose 7,000 here. Uh, have a look. It's question number nine of a possible 15. Which children's TV programme was presented by the mother of pop star Sophie Ellis Bexter? Play School, Blue Peter, Saturday Superstore, Magpie. It's slow job, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to ask the audience, please, Chris. I thought you might. They'll be pleased. OK. Right, audience, let's get David and Ray up to £16,000. This is the question. All on your keypads, please. Which children's TV programme was presented by the mother of pop star Sophie Ellis Bexter? It's worth £16,000. All vote now. That's fairly convincing, don't you? It's a good lippy, don't you? Well, I think we just have to trust these guys. Well, you don't have to. You really don't have to. <laughs> this could be an expensive mistake. I would always say 84% is enough to go with the audience. Look, uh, Chris. Risk it. It's your call. We'll risk it. Have you never heard of this even, at all? Even if we go away with £1,000, that's £1,000 more than we came with. It's so. true. It's true. But, uh, that each. looks pretty convincing to me. Yeah. OK, final answer. Yeah. Final answer. It's absolutely the right answer. You've got £16,000. <laughs> Time to relax this winter with Dreams Beds and Challenge. Ado! 
Argos, our new range is out now. Get a great deal faster with 25% off any furniture over £100 on top of all our other offers available for delivery from the very next day. Plus, get these LG 4K smart TVs with HDR from just £399. And get this 10-inch Lenovo Tab 3 tablet for only £119.99. Plus, get a free £10 voucher when you spend £100. Go Argos! Every year, I always have the intention to eat better, but the intentions immediately go out the window. I received an email from Iceland, and I made an order online. Slimming World tuna and pasta salad. This will be good for your lunch. Have a cold and tuna. Lean beef steak mince. Quinoa. Chicken noodles. Are you trying to tell me something? Yes, I am. We had a really brilliant week. A smoked haddock. Woo, Slimming World chicken noodles. A cherry on the cake. Delicious. <laughs> Our sport for choice this year. I'm a lovely wife. <laughs> At Gala Casino, you can personalise your gaming experience. If you want it, pin it with our unique My Pins feature. And find the games you want every time. Get £10 free and choose the bonus you want. Choose Gala Casino and get what you want. The Flame Grilled Big King is just $1.99 in the King Deals menu. Two patties, flame grilled to perfection, cheese, Big King sauce and fresh ingredients for just $1.99. Only at Burger King. From the award-winning to thought-provoking, Sky brings you an incredible range of unmissable documentaries. Discover more with Sky. You're being taunted by a killer who knows where you live. Keep playing until you stop him. As a boy in Gaza, I threw rocks at soldiers. As I grew, so did the weapons. We were set up with an ambush. Reddington, we need your help. Brand new The Blacklist starts Wednesday the 8th of February on Sky One. Also available in Ultra HD. Introducing the Sky Kids app, available for Sky TV customers at no extra cost. Sky, believe in better. Time to relax this winter with Dreams Beds and Challenge. Right, now listen, you've got 16,000, you still have two lifelines. It's a bit serious. Have a look, this is question number 10. Would guarantee you. £32,000. Who wrote the music to the song Mac the Knife? Cole Porter, George Gershwin, Richard Rogers, Kurt Beil. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. I don't know this one. It may be. I've got an idea, but let's go 50 50 and then I'll tell you what it is, okay? All right, 50 50. You want to go 50 50, Chris? Okay, could be the takeaway. Two wrong answers leave. David and Ray, the right answer, and one remaining random wrong answer. Now, what's that number? Well, I had a fairly strong idea that it was Kurt Vile, and I'm fairly sure it's not Richard Rogers. Yeah. I didn't think... I thought it wasn't Richard Rogers. I had no idea who else it might be. <laughs> you lose 15,000 if you're wrong. It's a big drop if you're wrong. 15,000? Do we use our last lifeline? Ask for this one. You've got a colleague who's good on uh, music. Was it too too late for him? 
Mac the knife. It's probably too early for him. <laughs> Even Andrea might know this one. Sure, cool. You got sixteen thousand. It's worth thirty-two. Who wrote the music to the song Mac the Knife? Richard Rogers or Kurt Vile? Let's go for it. We'll go for Kurt Vile. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. Final answer. Why were you so sure it wasn't Richard Rogers? Not his sort of music. I am fairly sure. I was fairly sure it was Kurt Vile anyway. It's the right answer. You got thirty-two thousand pounds. <laughs> Your confidence was definitely waning a bit there, wasn't it? Certainly David's was. Right, now listen, this is great. You've got this amount of money to take back home to your families, or possibly never see your families again. You've got £32,000. Do you want to take it? I think... It's in your I'd name. Like take that, yes, okay. please. Thank you very much. Right, you still have a phone a friend. OK, whatever happens, you go nice home with have. that. Uh, you still have a phone a friend. You've got £32,000 guaranteed. The good news is that both of you go home with at least £16,000. At least, you still have a lifeline. Uh, you got good phone friends? Yes. You think so? Yep. Yes. We'll find out in a minute. Well, we may not need to. Have a look. Question number 11. You might as well play this. You can't yeah, lose on it. You're guaranteed £32,000 between the two of you. It's worth 64000 You're five away from a million. Here it comes. Which of these is a book of the New <laughs> Testament? Why are you laughing? Because you're not very religious men. Uh, I used to be a clergyman. Ah. Well, when I say not very religious, you're not as religious as you used to be in the old days when you were a clergyman. Right. If he doesn't get this right, he's in trouble. I don't, I'm not going to use a lifeline for this one. Which of these is a book of the New Testament? You should know this, Ray. Jeremiah. Job. Nope. Jonah. Nope. Jude. That'll be Jude. Chris. Are you sure? Totally. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won £64,000. <laughs> Thank you. Well played. <laughs> You're four away from a million. This is question number 12 of possible 15. A daguerreotype is an early example of what? Car. Photograph. Fountain pen. Television. That'd be a photograph, Chris. Yep. I can tell you both very certain when it came up. What sort of photo? Well, it's these old ones with um, silver halide on the uh, on, on on the metal, I think. Final it's answer. Very old photo. Yeah, Quite very happy on both agreeing on your final answer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's the right answer. You got one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. <laughs> Fantastic. And Ray, it's in your name because you made the call. I'm glad I made that call. <laughs> <laughs> I bet David is as well. They are. That's yours. You still have one lifeline. Take it. Uh, I'd hold on to it for, for the moment at least, okay. anyway. Uh, we don't want to give you that. We'd like to give you a bigger one, but uh, you've got £125,000 at this moment. You still have one lifeline. You've still got a phone and friend. Question number 13 is worth a quarter of a million. If you give me a wrong answer, you lose £93,000. You're guaranteed £32,000. Have a look. This is question number <coughs> 13 of a possible 15. It's for a quarter of a million. Who was Queen Victoria's father? William the Fourth. George the Fourth. Edward, Duke of Kent. Leopold, Duke of Albany. Nikki will know this one. If we're not certain, we should ask her. OK, let's move Nikki then. I'll we'll phone a friend. Have to be in the idea. OK, now, who are you going to phone? Uh, my wife, Nikki. No pressure on your wife, then. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> what, um... She'll get a present if... Uh... <laughs> She'll get a present. <laughs> it's a quarter of a million quid. <laughs> She'll get a present. Lots we're chocolate. fairly sure it's one of two. But Out of interest, <laughs> tell me which. Uh, it's either Edward, Duke of Kent, or Leopold, Duke of Albany, because um, William the Fourth was her uncle. Um, right. Wait a second. Sorry, yes. David, are you going to talk to him? Hello. Nikki. Yes. Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Goodness me. Hello, Goodness Chris. me. How are you? Well, you know when David went wandering off to London, what do you think he was doing? Oh. <laughs> They're doing rather well. Good. Do you want me to tell you how well? No, thank you. 
<laughs> Do you want me to tell her how well, David, or not? Not if she doesn't want to know. No. <laughs> OK, they're doing fine. Right, you just crack on. OK, I'll just crack on. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much. Thank you for being so reasonable. It's more, um, it's more David, actually. Uh, next voice you hear will be David, your husband. Yes. Uh, you remember him. 30 okay. seconds to tell her the question. There are still four possible answers. One of these is the right answer. All right, Nikki. Right. OK, David, lots of luck. Your time starts now. Hi, darling. Who was Queen Victoria's father? William IV, George IV, Edward, Duke of Kent, Leopold, Duke of Albany. Edward, Duke of Kent. Run me through again. William IV, George IV, Edward, Duke of Kent, or Leopold, Duke of Albany, Queen Victoria's dad. Edward, Duke of Kent. How sure? Seven seconds. Pretty, pretty sure. Percentage? George IV. No. Ed <laughs> oh. Oh. How is your marriage? <laughs> it's about to become very rocky, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> it's your call. What do you think, Ray? It's entirely your choice. You've got £125,000 at this moment. She sounded quite confident, but it's your call. Well, let's see if that one or the Leopold Duke of Albany. But she's pretty. I don't think so. I, th I think she's probably. Yeah, right. I think that's what we'll I'm you. OK, Sorry. If, if we go down, we go down. We yeah. came with nothing, so um, we'll back Nikki's judgment and we'll go with Edward, Duke of Kent. And I will forgive her if she's wrong. And so will I. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You're going to play? We're going to yes. play. Edward, Duke of Kent. Final, Final answer. answer. Final answer. Final answer. Why did you choose Nikki out of interest, apart from the fact that she's what? She is extremely good at history. She is very good at history. She's just won you two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Fantastic! She's very, very, very good at history. She'll die when you tell you how much. Tell right. Much. <laughs> Thanks to Nikki, you got this. Sadly, it's not written out in your name, David. He'll get some of it. <laughs> so <laughs> Nicky should have most of it, yeah. <laughs> Take it. It's yes, very nice. Definitely, like definitely. Two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Mm. <laughs> when you made the call, Ray, what did you sort of think? If it really went well, yeah. What do you think, might get? I thought if it went well, we could get up to sixty-four. What do you have? Uh, after that, it really is the luck of the draw. What questions you get? Well. You've got 13 out of 13 right. You've got no more lifelines, but yep. at this moment, you've got £250,000. You are two away from £1 million. If you go for the next question, you do not have to play the next question. You can walk away with that cheque for a quarter of a million. If you go for the next question and give me a wrong answer, you lose £218,000. OK, it's a sobering thing. Very serious money. Yeah, but question number 14, if you do go for it and give me the right answer, you have to both agree on your final answer. It's worth... £500,000. Half a million. You're two away from a million. This is question number 14. The wife of which US president had a maiden name the same as her husband's surname? Richard M. Nixon. Lyndon B. Johnson. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Franklin D. Roosevelt. I think it's Johnson, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I thought it was Johnson too, but I'm not sure, and it's too much money to risk. Take your time, take as long as you need. We both think it might be Johnson, but we're not sure. It's too much money to risk, I think. You think so? Well, she I was Lady Bird to Johnson, wasn't she? Yeah. But I'm not sure that was her maiden name. I think we have to take the money. Take as long as you need. It's worth half a million. You've got a quarter of a million at the moment. It's worth half a million. We're not sure enough, are we? I don't think we are. Nope. We'll take the money. We'll thank you very much, up. Chris. <laughs> final answer. You can take the money. Final answer, Chris. Yes. Final answer. Okay. Give them a big hand. They go away. Two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Better off. You want to know, don't you? Yes. You do want to know, don't you? Yeah. You would have gone <laughs> for Lyndon B. Johnson, wouldn't yep. you? Yeah. Yep. If you'd done that, you'd no longer be sitting there with that cheque. I'd have torn it up, 
and I would have replaced it with a cheque for £32,000. <laughs> <laughs> the right answer was Franklin D. Roosevelt. David and Ray leave us a quarter of a million better off. <laughs> now, we've got nine pairs of twins left. Let's play fastest finger first. Four answers, only one correct order. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these men in the order they had their first UK number one single. Leo Sayer, Engelbert Humperdinck, Rick Astley, Harry Belafonte. OK, let's see. Let's uh, check out the right order first. We've got nine pairs of twins... Uh, nine pairs of twins waiting. Let's see the right order. Um, Father's back, Harry Belafonte, Mary's boy child, number one in 1957. Uh, then it was Humperdinck uh, with Please Release Me in 67. Then it was Leo Sayer with When I Need You in 1977. And Rick Astley with Never Gonna Give You Up in 1987. So that's the right order. Now, nine left. How many got it right? These were correct. One, two, three, four, five. Who was fastest? Rick and Paul in 5.68. Rick, we're playing. <laughs> the spot, Paul, would it? Because no. he's extraordinary like me. Do you want to play the million quid? Yeah, I have to say, sitting here, looking over there, is very, very strange. Here we have Rick Backer and his brother Paul. Rick and Paul here are just 15 correct answers away from winning one million pounds. Of course, they have three brand new lifelines to help them. They do get stuck. They've got 50 50. They can phone a friend and they can ask this audience. Paul, Rick, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, question number one is for 100 pounds. Which of these is a catchy tune, especially one used in advertising? Jingle. Jangle. Dingle. Dangle. Gotta be jingle. Gotta be jingle. Go with jingles, right answer, got hundred pounds. <laughs> so Paul, we need to get you up to a thousand to uh, to cover the expenses of the flight, and then after that it's all profit. Have a look, question number two is for two hundred pounds. In a comedy duo, what name is given to the person who acts as stooge to a comedian? Direct man, honest man, straight man. Candid man. Um, no doubt there. I would say it's straight man. Straight man. Right, now, so you've got £200. <laughs> Question number three, £300. Here it comes. Which of these describes someone who is behaving in an unusual or silly way? Off his dolly. Off his holly. Off his brolly. Off his trolley. I think that's off his trolley. It's right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> Number four for 500, no lifelines needed so far. Here it comes. Danzac is a dish from the cuisine of which country? India, Mexico, Norway, Greece. Mm. Danzac. I would, I would assume it's going to be India. What do you think? Uh, I've never heard of that dish, but it looks like, looks like an Indian word. You want to take the risk? Yeah, up to you. It's up to me, is it? Yeah. <laughs> no pressure, then. I'll say it's India. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £500. Pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a free life balance intact. Question number five is for £1,000. In formal correspondence, which of these signifies that a letter has been signed on someone else's behalf? PP, QQ, RR, SS. I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, I was, well, what do you think? Well, I say what I think. No, you tell me what you think. I'd <laughs> say, well, SS or PP, and I'm leaning towards SS. I'm leaning more towards PP. 
you think? Should we go for it? Uh, you think on a letter? Have you ever seen SS? No. Q Q. P P. Is that last chance? P P. P P. Final answer. P P. It's the right answer. You got one thousand pounds. Woo! Woo! Doing it the hard way. to relax this winter with Dreams Beds and Challenge. To enjoy David's chicken curry, hot or not, find the recipe in store and online. You could put some joy upon my face Oh, sunshine in an empty place Take me to turn to and babe I'll make you stay This is a rhythm of the night the game and walk away with my winnings now if I want. Mm, decisions, decisions. Time to push the button. Well, if you say so. Here we go. Hey, here we go, here we go. For the love of the game, betway.com. Get a deposit bonus up to £100 today. Hi. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> That's uh, fifty-three pounds, please. Paying for other people's bad driving. There's no excuse for that. The ride. <laughs> At Aviva, safer drivers could save an average of one hundred and seventy pounds on our car insurance. Download the Aviva Drive app to see if you could save. You ready, big guy? Yeah. <sighs> I'm like totally ready. This January. Oh gosh. Look at her. <laughs> Ready. Good luck, everyone. Ah! Set. Has anyone seen my glass eye? <laughs> Sing in Cinemas Friday. Available to pre-order in Sky Store now. We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, is in cinemas now. And you can pre-order the movie today with Buy and Keep in Sky Store. This is our chance to make a real difference. Are you with me? All the way. Pre-order your copy of Rogue One, a Star Wars story in Sky Store now. Portrait Artist of the Year is back, with new celebrities bravely posing for portraits each week. I do this a lot, is that okay? Join hosts Frank and Joan for all the surprises. Your challenge is about to begin. The brand new series continues. Portrait Artist of the Year, Tuesday at 8, only on Sky Arts. And if you've missed the start of Portrait Artist of the Year, you can see the full picture so far with Catch Up TV. Tune in to Strike It Lucky, where you can win a flight on Concord and this stunning three-piece suite with your host, Michael Barrymore. Put your mind to the toughest questions on TV. These are often small and blue. <laughs> you know, you never get this on Mastermind, do you know? With the greatest prizes. Leather puffet. Can't somebody do a bit of research on this show? They're only 19. Oh, Michael, I'd love to catch you. So maybe you'll Strike It Lucky. Saturdays from 6 on Channel. Time to relax this winter with Dreams Beds and Challenge. Question number six is for £2,000. You still have all three lifelines. Have a look at this, you're ten away from a million. Heaver Castle in Kent is most associated with which of these women? Anne Whittacombe. Anne Jones. Anne Boleyn. Anne Robinson. Ooh. I think that's one of the ones that I'm supposed to know. Yeah, well, you've been living here two years. You should know. 
Hmm. I don't think it would be Anne Boleyn. Hmm. It's definitely Anne somebody. Yep. It's definitely Anne somebody. I think we should uh, ask the audience. Ask the audience. Um... <laughs> yeah, it might be a question most things people know. Definitely. Okay. I'd like okay. to ask the audience, please. Okay, audience, let's get Paul and Rick up to £2,000. Here comes the question. All on your keypads, please. Hever Castle in Kent is most associated with which of these women? A, B, C or D. It's worth £2,000. All vote now. Three percent thinks Anne Widdicombe. I suppose I could have reasoned that if I really thought. They could. Uh, Eighty-nine percent think it's Anne Boleyn. That's yeah. quite a big percentage. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and Boleyn. Complete final answer. Yes. Final answer. No idea why. <laughs> but you're going to go for it. It's the right answer. You got two thousand pounds. <laughs> It's uh, very famous as her childhood home. That's where uh, Anne Boleyn grew up. Uh, you got two thousand pounds. You still got two lifelines. You're hanging on. No problem. You got to phone a friend. You got a fifty-fifty. Question number seven is for four thousand pounds. Which animal appears in the title of the Flanders and Swan song, featuring the line "Mud, mud, glorious mud"? Rhinoceros, hippopotamus, elephant, warthog. I got no idea. <laughs> no idea at all. Probably wouldn't be rhinoceros. Mm. Probably not elephant. I would say hippopotamus and water. I'm leaning towards hippo. Maybe this might be worth uh, phoning a friend. Yep. Who would you phone? I'd like to call Adrian. Adrian? Okay. Uh, tell him the question, four possible answers. Rick, you still don't have to take his answer. You can walk away with the money and you still got a 50 50 if you want it. Where's Adrian? He's in London. Hello? Adrian? Hello? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh my god, hello there. Oh my god, we're in the middle of who wants to be a millionaire, as you can probably gather. Okay. Um, it also means fairly obviously that Paul and Rick are here. They're in the chair, they're doing okay. Uh -huh. The next voice you hear will be Rick's. It's right. out of the question. There are four possible answers. One of these is worth £4,000. OK, Ed. OK. All right, mate. Rick, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Adrian, which animal appears in the title of the Flanders and Swan song featuring the line, mud, mud, glorious mud? Is it rhinoceros, hippopotamus, elephant or warthog? Um, I would be guessing now. I don't know that one at all, Rick, I'm afraid. Ah. <laughs> that was a bit early for me, that one, I'm afraid. OK, you've, you've never heard of it? Um, no, I haven't, no. I, I, I would, I, I could answer the guess, but... Uh, it was... <laughs> oh. 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 Well... Well, here we are. You've got £2,000. <laughs> you got a 50-50. Well, we'll just have to do the 50-50. Yeah. 50 50, please. OK, I could be the take away two wrong answers. Leave Paul and Rick the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. One of those I, I realise for most of the audience it's probably a very easy question. <laughs> but it's not for me. OK, I would say hippopotamus. Is that really something that would fit in a song? Hippopotamus? What, is, what does hippopotamus rhyme with? Mm. <laughs> oh. Nicole, you got two thousand. It's worth four. You lose a thousand if you're wrong. Maybe it's a nursery rhyme. What do you think, elephant or hippopotamus? Hippopotamus. Just feel it. You feel it. <laughs> okay. We'll go for hippopotamus. Final answer. Final answer. The right answer, you got £4,000! <laughs> now, you got £4,000. You can obviously take that amount of money. Question number eight is for 8000 Have a look, tell me if you want to play it. You would lose £3,000 here if you gave me a wrong answer. Here it comes. Polynosis. 
is the technical term for which condition? Shingles, hiccups, hay fever, earache, polynosis. You heard of it? No. Hmm. No. Well, if you got hay fever, what's making you sneeze is pollen. Yeah. Would it be that easy? No. <laughs> it's spelled differently. I'm, I'm leaning towards shingles, I don't know why. Unless it's something simple like hiccups. I, I think if it would have been hiccups, I would have heard of it. What do you say? I think it's hiccups. You just got one of those feelings. Oh, actually, hiccups isn't a disease, so I suppose it can't be that, so... No, it's just a condition. Yeah, shingles or hiccups. I, I, think, I think it's probably shingles. Right, go for shingles. Well, then again, maybe, maybe it is hiccups. I just can't decide. <laughs> Have you got a coin? No. <laughs> it's killing me now. Now you switch to shingles, now I think it's hiccups. No. I think hiccups. All right. Hiccups. 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 Final answer. Final answer. How did we get to hiccups from shingles? I thought it was hay fever first. <laughs> it was hay fever. It was the wrong answer. Oh. Oh. I'm really sorry, guys. You went all around the houses. It was hay fever. Yep. Hey, give a big hand. Paul and Rick still go away. £1,000 better off. We'll play, guys. You're trying for it. Cheers, well done. <laughs> so, Rick and Paul go away with £1,000, and Paul will probably be singing the Hippopotamus song all the way back to Australia. Now, we've got eight sets of twins left. Fastest finger first again. Here comes the next question tonight. Put the seasons of the year in alphabetical order. Spring, winter, autumn, summer. That's pretty straightforward, but they've obviously got to do it at speed, so uh, here's the right answer. In alphabetical order, autumn, beginning with A, then it's spring, SP, then it's summer, SU, then it's winter, W. So that's the right order. Eight left. How many got it right? Probably all eight. So let's have a look. Andy and Steve, 5.62. Adam and Charlie, 5.62. That's amazing. That's a tiebreaker. That's amazing, very exciting. In almost four years of doing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire here in the UK, we've never before had two contestants registering exactly the same time on Fastest Finger First. So this is what happens. Andy and Adam will now go head-to-head -head on one more Fastest Finger First question. And then, as always, whoever gets the right order in the fastest time will be the next to play for £1 million. Good luck. Here comes the question. Put these words in order to give a traditional phrase associated with November the 5th. Four, Guy, Penny, the. OK, both finished. This is fairly obviously the right answer. Here it comes, Penny, four... The guy. First time I've ever had a tiebreaker. I expect them both are right. It'll be a question of who's fastest. Let's see if they're both right. Andy and Steve are right. Andy got it right in 5.53. <laughs> I think the pressure. Steve, your opponent. Now, where is he? Where's he twin? Let's have a look. Well done. Good tiebreaker. You want to play for a million? Yep. Come on, Steve. Let's do it. So here we have Andy Burton, a chemistry student, and his brother Steve, who's studying economics, and they're both from Oswestry in Shropshire. Fifteen questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds, that's the formula. Lots of luck, Steve, lots of luck, Andy. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This is for 100. 
Complete this proverb. Great minds blink alike, think alike, sink alike, drink alike. Think alike. Think alike. That's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> I think with students, it's probably great minds drink alike. You got £100. Uh, question number two is for 200 quid. Here it comes. What name is given to the last section of a race course? Home front, home guard, home page, home straight. Home straight. Yeah. That's the right answer. You got £200. Home straight. <laughs> question number three. You got all those lifelines. Use them if you have to. There are no trick questions. Question number three is for £300. Which of these is another name for the finger next to the thumb on a human hand? Forefinger, aft finger, bow finger, stern finger. Forefinger. That's right, Alex, you've got £300. <laughs> you've got all three lifelines, this is for 500 quid. The term the continent usually refers to the mainland of which continent? Australia. Africa, Europe, Asia. Europe. I think it's Europe. Yeah, it's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> You've got the continent, as you think, from the British Isles. You've got 500. This will guarantee you 1,000 pounds. Question number five. Here it comes. Who starred in the 2002 film We Were Soldiers? Russell Crowe, Tom Hanks, Billy Bob Thornton, Mel Gibson. I think it's Mark Gibson. Last point, you can go home with nothing at all. It's your call. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Guaranteed a grand. <laughs> Question number six is for 2000. Here we go. Which of these is a large cup or goblet? Chalice, chancel, chantry, chaplet. Chalice, yeah, sounds right. Huh? Chalice, happy? Yes. Final answer. Yeah. Yes. It's the right answer. You got two thousand pounds. <laughs> chancel and chantry are parts of the church. Uh, chaplets, a garland for the head, or I think it can be prayer beads as well. You got two thousand. You haven't touched the lifeline yet. Uh, this is for £4,000. What was the first name of Cardinal Wolsey, who was arrested for treason during the reign of Henry VIII? Joseph, Matthew, David, Thomas. Not got a clue. No. Not got a clue. Not an inkling? Not one of them. OK. They all sound like they could. <laughs> well, um. You haven't touched any lifelines yet. You've got 50 50. Frank, Frank, can ask the audience. Now, what would you do? <sighs> ask the audience. I have an inkling for one. Um, phone a friend? Phone Anne? Yes, let's. Okay. Phone Anne. Who? Anne. Anne. Okay. Phone Anne, where's she? Up in North Wales, where's she? She's Warrington. Warrington, OK. Phone Anne, uh, tell her the question, four possible answers. You've still got those other two lifelines if you need them. See what happens. Hello. Anne? Yes. Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Goodness me, good evening. Goodness me. Anne, where are you? There's very um, loud background noise. Where are you? <laughs> I was in a, uh, a function at a golf club. You're a I'm, function I'm now at in the golf club? Park. Oh, how grand to be at a function. <laughs> uh, and I've got Steve and Andy here. They're doing OK, but they got stuck on £2,000. OK. That's well, OK. It's uh, the first lifeline they needed. OK, next voice here will be Andy's. All right. He'll tell you the question. Four possible answers. One of these is the right answer, and it'll get them up to £4,000. Yep, OK. Right, OK, lots of luck. Andy, 30 Thank seconds. You. Your time starts now. Hi, Anne. What Hi. Was the, what was the first name of Cardinal Wolsey, who was arrested for treason during the reign of Henry VIII? Was it Joseph? Matthew, David, or Thomas? Thomas. Are you definitely sure about that? I would have said Thomas before you asked, before you gave me the choices. So I'd say 90%. 90%.
OK, that's good enough for me. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Andy. Bye. Bye. Um, it's up to you. You sounded quite confident. It was your call. Did you, did you think it was That was the one I was inkling. Yeah, I thought Thomas. Yeah. Go on, then. Yeah. Play? Yes. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> good. Time to relax this winter with Dreams Beds and Challenge. Belvita breakfast is great for working mornings and also great for lazy mornings. Good mornings from Belvita. This year, make every second of your holiday count by staying where the adventure never ends. Now. Three theme parks, including the all-new Volcano Bay Water Theme Park and spectacular resort hotels. Don't just holiday. Holiday like you mean it. Universal Orlando Resort. Book your Universal Orlando Resort holiday at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort with Thomas Cook from $5.99 per person. Make room for big nights in. Chinese meal for two box, now only four pounds. Asda, save money, live better. The bargain bucket with 30% extra free chicken is a mighty good deal. We're going to need a bigger bucket. KFC is finger licking good. You need to be ready. You need to see what's coming. What I want you to do is I want you to give the gun to the pilot. Don't touch the trigger. Don't touch anything. Hold the gun up to the glass so that we can see it. I'm going to kill everybody in here. We knew that we were dealing with a pretty hardcore guy. Step inside the living hell of a real hostage situation. Put your hand up over your head. Extreme Hostage Hell. Sunday at 10. Brand new to pick. Sky Sports presents 2017 to me. with the Premier League, England International Cricket and Formula One, the Championship, the British and Irish Lions Tour, plus Golf Majors, European and PGA Tours. Sky Sports in 2017, we've got it covered. Time to relax this winter with Dreams Beds and Challenge. Feel good? Getting better? Better all the time, yes. Time to enjoy it? Right, you've got £4,000. You've still got two lifelines. You've uh, got a 50-50. You can ask the audience. Have a look at number eight. This is for 8000 Which of these national flags has a silhouette of the country depicted on it? Cyprus, Greece, Poland, Jamaica. It's, it's worth eight thousand pounds. Yeah, don't, it's not Greece or Poland, and don't think it's Jamaica. No, that's a kind of like a Scottish design, but with green and yellow. Yeah, on. So that again, Andy's what? I think <laughs> the Jamaican flag looks like the Scottish flag, but with green and uh, yellow and black on it. I think. Okay. Perhaps not, but I think it's Cyprus. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> you are becoming the richest students in uh, Oswestry, <laughs> aren't you? You've got £8,000. You're two away from a guaranteed big cheque for £32,000. You've got a 50-50. You can ask this audience. Have a look at question number nine. Whose suggested epitaph for himself was he was an average guy who could carry a tune? Elvis Presley, Freddie Mercury, Bing Crosby, Maurice Chevalier. I have absolutely no idea. Should we ask the audience? Yeah. Why not, yes. Why not? We'd like to. <laughs> We'd like to. OK, audience, let's try and get Steve and Andy up to £16,000. 
All on your keypads, please. Now, this is the question. Who suggested Epitaph for himself was he was an average guy who could carry a tune? A, B, C or D. It's worth £16,000. All vote now. Big old um, majorities tonight. 69% are saying it was Bing Crosby. 7% uh, Presley, 14% Freddie Mercury, 10% Chevalier. It's your call. If they're wrong and you go with them, you lose a lot of money. Uh, but it's worth 16,000. You want to do 50 50 as well? Yeah? 50 50, please. Don't trust them, eh? OK. <laughs> Computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Steve and Andy the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. Well, we'll go for Bing Crosby. It's either Presley or Crosby. Does say 7% said Presley, uh, 69 said Crosby. Does it sound like Elvis? Take your time, take as long as you need, there's no time limit. We've we go got £8,000, it's got 16 Should we go 000. for Bing Crosby then? <laughs> <laughs> you does, normally like this, you It do. does sound like him. I, don't, I can't see Elvis saying something like that. You don't have to play it, it's your call. Yeah. Yes, Final, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. We've Final answer. We've got £1,000. Final answer. Final answer, Bing Crosby. You just won sixteen thousand pounds. <laughs> that was Steve pushing you, Andy. Oh. Right now, question number ten is for thirty-two thousand pounds. If you went for this one and gave me a wrong answer, you would lose. £15,000, so it's um, scary stuff. Have a look at question number 10. You've got no lifelines, but you're six away from one million. This is for £32,000. John Bonham was the drummer for which rock band? Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, Cream, The Who. Do you know? No. I ain't got a clue. We've got I can't no believe that. You knew Bing Crosby. Oh, I, I didn't, but... That was, that was a guess. All right. 50, 50. Well, take your time. Listen, it's worth 32,000. No. I think we've got to take the money. Definitely. Final answer, can take the money? Final answer, take money. What does it mean to you two? £16,000, that's £8,000 a piece. What does it mean? Oh, that's, that's a lot of money. Give them a big hand. They go away with £16,000. <laughs> well played, guys. Stay there for a second. I can tell you... John Bonham was actually the drummer for Led Zeppelin. Give him a big hand, £16,000. <laughs>